one thing I'm not going to do, so we're going to start working on Kyujutsu, right? All right, so I do want to discuss the importance of Kyujutsu in front of the camera. But in front of the camera, if you guys are watching the DVD or if this video goes up on the internet, YouTube or whatever, I just want to say that I'm not going to go over the components of the, the, the bow. I've done that in multiple videos. I'm not going to do, go over how to shoot a bow. I've done that in multiple videos. This is not a, a rehash of all that. The individuals that are here behind the camera already know that. I'm not wasting time with that. So if you guys are watching this video because you want to see archery videos or you see this DVD, please go to my website, type in my name, and then archery. You'll have a go with all those videos, okay? Well, we, what I do want to talk about today is the importance of archery and how it's very an integral aspect of ninjutsu. Now, earlier yesterday, I talked about how we always start the camps with climbing drills. And I also said why. It's like, if you look at the Bonsen Chukai, Lots of different ways of climbing. There's different there's shit. There's multiple different types of ladders. <laughs> you don't make a ladder to fucking swim. You catch what I'm saying? So all these different kinds of ladders and, and all these different kinds of ropes and all this stuff so you can climb. I mean, it's, it's very obvious. Climbing was a specific skill set that was very much part of ninjutsu. Or they wouldn't have so many damn tools to do it. Right? Okay. Another thing that you see is a lot of different types of arrows. Now archery, from a ninjutsu perspective, yep, you could shoot somebody and kill them. Of course, there's always that. I mean, even in even in uh, the Bonsen Shukai, Fujibayashi Yasutake says, one of the secrets of Shinobi no Jitsu is to be able to kill the enemy general. You know what I mean? Take a head, that sort of thing. There's even another mention later on in, in the Bonsen Shukai where it's like, you know, you could, you know, take a head, so and so forth. So of course, killing is an aspect of ninjutsu. And if I could take a bow and arrow or a yumi or what we call kyujutsu, right? If you could study Kyujutsu or the art of archery in Japanese martial arts, you make your draw and you shoot, you can kill someone without even actually going into battle. Without doubt, that's obvious that's going to benefit your side, right? However, they'd use archery for a lot of other reasons too. And one thing that Ninja was known for was arson, fire. So they had, they had specific arrows where on the end of it, they had lots of fire apparatuses that when it landed, it would catch on fire and burn the top of buildings and things like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, another thing you could use them for is signaling. So like once you get to a certain spot, maybe you wanna show, shoot an arrow in the air that's on fire to let somebody else know, you know, wherever they are camped out that you're in the position you need to be in. So archery, without a doubt, is one of those skills that is very much integral, uh, very an integral aspect of ninjutsu, or maybe not an integral aspect of ninjutsu, I, I might be saying that wrong, but it's definitely an integral aspect of being a ninja. So whether you want to take archery and attach it to ninjutsu or not, we can use that for a debate. But 100%, every ninja needed to be pretty damn good at archery to do the things they were doing. They had to work a bow. So today we're going to be doing that. Generally, in where we do it at, at the Hanbu, we're not very far away from our target. It's very close. The reason we chose this specific spot today is because I want to get... I want to get away from the target and get you guys the opportunity to really draw and see if you can hit a target at a distance, okay? So right now we're just going to be working on Kyujutsu. Once we get done with this, then we'll move into another long distance weapon. But, you know, um, archery in my, in my opinion, and again, it's just my opinion. Everyone has the right to their own, right? Um, I think archery is more important, even if you guys are trying to be, um, if you guys are survival training. Um, and I've said this and I do want to repeat that on the camera and that's just because if you ever get into a situation where things that we use that we're very that we kind of lean on in our everyday lives like electricity internet cell phones those kind of things all that's taken away and now you have to survive the last thing you want to do is start shooting your shells and wasting your ammunition on a rabbit you'll need that for protection because when everybody's hungry everyone's hungry and you'll need, you'll need your ammunition for your home defense. But you don't want to waste however many shells you got on a fucking rabbit running through your backyard or if you're out on a trek looking for game. You know what I mean? You're going to want something like this that's going to be a, provide you an opportunity to still catch game. Did you follow me on that one? Mm -hmm. And there's a shit ton of things right here in this area that will allow us to make one of these. Do you know what I mean? So archery, even in the modern day, if you guys are, you know, survival for you guys watching the video, but survival skills is a thing here. I mean, I know it's not in most martial arts schools. They don't make it a requirement. In our school, it is a requirement because that's just the way I am. But 
knowing that gives you guys an advantage when shit hits the fan. You know what I mean? Don't go grabbing your gun. You know, you need to go making some damn arrows, right? All right.